there's a battle for your mind. I'm buying up oh, all you the mind share. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. And if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. If the Spirit Lord, the Holy Ghost, I'm going to be talking about the Holy Ghost in this way. If the Spirit Lord showed up in your room this morning, would you know that he's not Jesus? He's not Jesus. And would you know that he's not Jesus? Well, if you knew him, if you knew the Spirit Lord, you know who he was, that he's God in the earth today, the one Jesus sent to be with you, you would know he's not Jesus. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17, now the Lord is that spirit. Now there is a Lord God in the earth, and now in the earth the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, or literally where the spirit Lord is, there is liberty. The Bible calls the Holy Ghost the Spirit Lord, and so do I. Now the Lord is that Spirit. See, Jesus never turned into the Spirit Lord. He's still Jesus. Jesus is Jesus and will always be Jesus, seated at the right hand of the Father until he returns, but seated at the right hand of the Father and sent the Holy Ghost the Spirit Lord to be with us now the Lord is that Spirit in our day in our dispensation the Lord is that Spirit the Spirit Lord Holy Ghost get it straight a lot of people don't have it straight Jesus never turned into the Holy Ghost why is it so difficult for people to understand? Jesus didn't magically, when he ascended into heaven, turn into the Holy Ghost and send himself in the form of the Holy Ghost into the earth. Jesus is not the Holy Ghost. Jesus is not the Holy Ghost. He never turned into the Holy Ghost. If the Spirit Lord shows up in your room this morning, would you know that he's not Jesus I'm telling you this because he showed up in my room this morning and I knew exactly who he was not Jesus now the Lord is the Spirit Lord the Holy Ghost God personally in the earth today he's a person and he's not Jesus do you know this you need to know it if you haven't come to this place of knowing him the spirit lord as god in the earth then you're still behind some kind of a religious veil pulled over your eyes by the doctrines of men to where you can't quite see that he the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today the Spirit Lord literally says that in verse 16 when the veils taken away now the Lord is that Spirit or the Spirit Lord but if you haven't come to this place of knowing him the Holy Ghost as God and worshiping him as God you should worship God then you are limited in knowing what I'm talking about even if you've been born again and received the baptism of the Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues and even maybe minister under the anointing at times if you don't worship the Holy Ghost as God you don't really know what I'm talking about 
there's a place you enter only through worshiping him as God it's a door that he opens to you that he doesn't allow anybody else in you may think you know what I'm talking about but you don't there is a new reality that you enter into only through worshiping the Holy Ghost as God the Living God God in the earth today the one Jesus sent the one Jesus sent Jesus sent him and therefore he's not Jesus and when you worship him he opens things to you that he doesn't open to other people and if you think you know what I'm talking about and you don't worship him as God you don't know what I'm talking about but there's a battle for your mind I'm buying up all the mind share I'm fighting for this space for you can you hear it I'm fighting for this space for you the Holy Ghost says I want this much more than you do much more than you do yes he wants this much more than you do worldwide receptivity of the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today it's a big deal did Jesus know that he wasn't the Holy Ghost now this sounds ridiculous but I have to bring it up I'm presenting this would you know the Holy Ghost if he entered into your room that would you know that he wasn't Jesus right did Jesus himself know that he wasn't the Holy Ghost undoubtedly it sounds ridiculous when you phrase it that way go to Luke chapter 3 this is where Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist in the River Jordan verse 22 and the Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him it says the Holy Ghost descended upon Jesus Jesus was in the River Jordan was baptized and came up out of the water right and the Holy Ghost descended upon Jesus did Jesus think that he descended upon himself let's read this and Jesus descended upon Jesus in a bodily shape is that what it says you think Jesus knew what was going on here this is when the Holy Ghost in bodily shape and and what it says here and I know how, how he's in the bodily shape of a dove no a thousand times no God never takes the bodily shape of any animal it literally says the Holy Ghost in bodily form descended so the Holy Ghost as a person in bodily form descended like a dove the like a dove is describing the descent the way he descended not the bodily form so the Holy Ghost in bodily form descended do you suppose Jesus knew this took place do you suppose that Jesus knew that he wasn't the Holy Ghost let's look down at chapter 4 verse 1 and Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost returned from the Jordan and was led by himself into the wilderness Jesus led himself into the wilderness no and Jesus was led by the Spirit the one who came down in bodily form descended upon him he was led by meaning he was following the leading of the Holy Ghost Jesus was not being led of himself he was being led by another being led by the Spirit Jesus knew he was not the Holy Ghost Luke chapter 4 verse 14 and Jesus returned in the power of himself into Galilee now Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit the, the Holy Ghost came on him he knew it the Holy Ghost was leading him Jesus knew it and the whole and he returned in the power of the Spirit 
jesus knew it jesus was not the holy ghost jesus knew he was not the holy ghost what's your problem mm -hmm. verse 18 the spirit this is the words of jesus the spirit of the lord is upon me because he hath anointed me jesus knew the and it literally says the spirit lord the spirit lord is upon me because he hath anointed me jesus knew he was a he he knew he was upon him and he knew who anointed him and he was following him are you here did jesus know he was not the holy ghost undoubtedly yes the spirit of the lord is upon me because i've anointed myself sounds ridiculous doesn't it so did jesus know that's my point did jesus know he was not the holy ghost yes all right did the disciples know that jesus he jesus was not the holy ghost are you here are you all right with this did the disciples know that jesus was not the holy ghost let's look at it and to this message you'll be like oh jesus was not the holy ghost john chapter 20 so this is before the day of pentecost this was right after jesus was raised from the dead john chapter 20 and verse 19 then the same day at evening being the first day of the week when the doors were shut where the disciples were assembled for fear of the jews came jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them peace be unto you verse 20 and when he had so said he showed unto them his hands and his side and then were the disciples glad when they saw the lord because up till this point they thought he was dead so now they don't think he's dead anymore are you here they don't think he's dead anymore they know that he's been raised from the dead he showed them his physical hands and his physical side jesus raised from the dead and they were glad then said jesus unto them again peace be unto you as my father has sent me even so send i you verse 22 and when he had said this he breathed on them and said unto them receive me into your hearts wait no he said receive ye the holy ghost and right after that jesus disappeared because he went into their hearts is that what this not what he said now listen 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 this right here according to every bible scholar that i could find said this is the first instance of people being born again where their sins were remitted and they had new life put into them who put the new life into them the holy ghost they didn't receive the holy ghost as like on the day of pentecost but they received a work of the holy ghost and that work of the holy ghost cleaned them all up forgave all their sins look he even said it receive ye the holy ghost whosoever sins you remit they are are remitted and whose soever sins you retain they are retained that's what he's talking about a work of the holy ghost who did that work the holy ghost was it jesus no jesus is still there did the disciples know that jesus was not the holy ghost my point here is that this is the new birth all scholars agree this is the new birth and was jesus in them now no he's still standing there it was a work of the holy ghost where their sins were remitted they were made clean and new the new birth is a result of believing on jesus raised from the dead and receiving the work of the holy ghost remission of sins so did the disciples know that jesus was not the holy ghost yes acts chapter 19 and verse 2 
now this is where paul let's well let's read verse 1 acts chapter 19 verse 1 and it came to pass that while apollos was at corinth paul having passed through the upper coasts came to ephesus and finding certain disciples verse 2 he said unto them have you received the holy ghost since you believed now paul would not say this if he thought that the holy ghost was jesus because they already believed on jesus but he was making sure that they had received the holy ghost since they believed the disciples knew that jesus was not the holy ghost the apostles made sure they took time and made sure every new convert had received the holy ghost who is the spirit lord in our day in fact paul is the one who wrote second corinthians 3 17 now the lord is that spirit paul wrote that to people so they would know that now the lord is that spirit the spirit lord and where the spirit lord is or where the spirit is lord there is liberty second corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit lord is there is liberty verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the spirit lord who are you going to be changed from glory to glory by oh paul by the spirit lord you go from one glory to the next glory to the next glory by knowing the spirit lord with this knowledge say with this knowledge we go from glory to glory and if you don't have this knowledge do you go to the next glory you don't it's having this knowledge of him as god the spirit lord in the earth that you can go to the next glory it's a new reality it's another glory it's a place that a lot of people have no idea what i'm talking about because they've never been there habakkuk chapter 2 verse 14 says for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the lord the glory of the spirit lord the knowledge of the glory of the spirit lord that's what's going to fill the earth are you here worldwide receptivity of knowing him as the spirit lord this is a lot better than i think you think it is worldwide receptivity of him as god the spirit lord this knowledge begins with you in your world if the spirit lord showed up in your room would you know that he's not jesus jesus knew that he was not the holy ghost the disciples knew that he was not the holy ghost do you know that jesus is not the holy ghost and the holy ghost is not jesus as you begin to worship the holy ghost he will begin to reveal himself to you in a new way in a new glory and you shall be able to enter into it and go way beyond where you've ever been before where, where you even thought you could go for this is the day when the knowledge of the glory of the spirit lord shall begin to cover the earth and it begins with you and we shall all fulfill everything you've called us to fulfill in this day in this hour and then the lord jesus shall return and be well pleased we thank you for it holy ghost in jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost i acknowledge you as the living god the spirit lord the holy one who is in the earth with me i walk with you in your prosperity i have more than more than enough in everything unto all good works i am fully supplied and i thank you holy ghost you are my god and i worship you in jesus name
Amen. The Father is in heaven. Jesus at his right hand. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth. To 